We're here at the Women's Brain Project Forum, and I'm here with uh, Murali Doraswamy from Duke University. We're very excited to have him here, and um, maybe to get things started, could you tell me what you do, but as you would explain it to your grandmother? I'm a brain scientist. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to understand the causes of Alzheimer's disease and trying to find ways to prevent it. And so how does the, the big theme of this conference, so the question of sex and gender differences, how does that factor into your world? The theme of sex and gender differences in brain health is very crucial to the disease that I'm studying. Uh, Alzheimer's is one of the biggest public health challenges. Something like 40 million people around the world are affected by it. It affects women in a disproportionate manner in two ways. Women tend to be most of the caregivers, something like 80% of women are the caregivers of those with dementia, so they bear the burden of caregiving. There are some new statistics coming out that something like 60% of all Alzheimer's cases affect women. So women also tend possibly to be more vulnerable to getting the disease. So my research is trying to understand what is the biological basis for Alzheimer's disease and whether there's any sex difference and also trying to see if there's a way we can relieve some of the burden on caregivers. So I think this is a hugely important issue. In a way, it's sort of a niche topic, but it's also growing. Um, and so how would you see, um, after attending this, this event, um, your role as an ambassador uh, to, to sort of continue getting the word out? So the Women's Brain Project and the Women's um, Brain and Mental Health Forum is very unique. There are not many conferences like this around the world. There are a lot of brain health and mental health conferences, but very few of them focus on sex and gender differences. This conference has brought together some of the world's leading researchers, but made them think about how could they do their research differently to understand sex differences, how could they communicate the message that we need to study sex differences, and how could they communicate the fact that many of these diseases affect women in a disproportionate manner, and we need to fund more resources into that. If you had uh, to think of sort of a, a takeaway message for, let's say, the, the new generation of, of incoming scientists, yeah. um, what, how would you, you know, pitch it to them to, to sort of factor this in? Sex is important. <laughs> sex research is fun. Sex research will get you on all of the top journals because there's so much waiting to be learned. And you have such great potential to help the four billion women around the world. And men can learn something too from this research. Fantastic. Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure being here. <laughs>